In the following video, you will see some megalithic burial sites from the megalithic age uh, in a place called Pandavar Kudi. Uh, Pandavar refers to the Pancha Pandavas in Mahabharata. And when I spoke to the locals, uh, they said that they believe <clears throat> these burial sites were the places where Pandavas lived during their time in exile. But actually, uh, this Pandavar Kuri is a mutation of the word Pandayar Kuri. Pandayar, Pandai in Tamil means old or um, early. Pandai means something that is ancient. So these are burial sites. Pandai Kuri has become Pandavar Kuri because <laughs> people like to believe in magic. And they believed that Pandavas lived in holes under the ground. <laughs> but these are actually megalithic burial sites that are dated at least 2500 years ago from today. 2300 to 2500 years ago. And uh, it was a nice experience. I was a little bit disheartened to see that there is not much care given to uh, these sites it could have been better but at least it was found and dated and all that but anyway here it is see for yourself thank you best <laughs> so it has one two Three, four chambers, right? No, no. That that also seems to be a chamber. Yeah, two chambers. Ah, ma. main chamber, a two subdivided. Pani It has been subdivided into two chambers. Mm -hmm. And then see here, you can see those. Here is another remnant of that rock wall. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, and God knows how many of these stones were taken up for construction and all that. <laughs> so this site is almost minimum 2500 years old and uh, it just lies on the side of the road. No one seems to really care to preserve this. They say that people lived here even before the birth of the Tamil script. I am sure there would have been a proto-Tamil language when people lived here. But uh, this this is a nudigal or just a, uh, a tombstone. You can call it a tombstone. And there is the sarcophagus. That is the grave. And that grave has is been subdivided into two chambers one main chamber and a sub chamber for offering and then there are two other chambers one on either side and as i understand it is used for for giving offerings to the dead people obviously this person would have been a very important person or else people would not have gone through the trouble of cutting such large stones and uh, creating a a symmetry for him like this and it used to have two walls one outer wall made of standing stones like that and then an inner wall with boulders just to mark this place and let the others know that there is something important underneath it's really sad to see that this place is just abandoned like this See another massive site full of these burial chambers. I can see one over there, over here, one over here, one over there, few over here, over there, and it is right on the shores of a river. It's a river bank. 
so in our tradition we still have our crematoriums on river banks so here you can see one of those slab stones the the way it was done was a ring of round stones and an outer circumference of slab stones these were really important people or else people would not have taken so much efforts to create such a grand grave for them it's not easy to cut these stones sad is in such a historic site i mean it's not even histori historic it is prehistoric you see dumping of building rubbish and all that if this were in any other country they would have turned it into a national monument and started collecting fees for people to visit but sadly it is what it is no one really cares see here you see another grave you can identify it by the by the round stones and i'm sure if you dig you will find chambers here there is another grave over there can you see that kilavu mulla ingirudha edunga kilavu mulla see it's even marked by the archaeological department or whoever did the research as number 4 So this is a well that was dug by the farmer who was farming this land not not in prehistoric times but recently but it is right in the middle of another grave site there is another grave site here there is another grave site over there see another uh, thing i see is they removed the mud from here whoever did the excavation and they just left it as it is so now this wall has collapsed the wall of this the sarcophagus has collapsed so they just they dug it up and then just left it to its own devices and uh, pretty soon in another 10 15 years this whole thing will collapse hmm even this this does not have any material to support it sir maybe they could have filled it up with something right mm -hmm. to support the wall anyway it is what it is at least i got to see it before it all went to dust so 2500 years ago people lived here and died here right on the banks of noyelar which is there and it was before the language tamil had an official script i'm sure they would have spoken some form of tamil at this time adhe nalma dhan patti enakku adhe nalma dhan ellar and route la dhan vandaganum naan enna vandu romba nandri patti romba nanna irundhudu enna patti nandri amma paathala paathira na moonu varukku moonu patti ஒன்னு கூட போது so this lady was kind enough to just give us some food she gave us fruits and then she gave us all these other things to take she is totally unknown to us such immense kindness again in some some other place we can see lots of these tombs there you can see a a round structure there far in the far background underneath that tree that also seems to be a grave site so it looks like see here also they've marked it with 103 so see can you see the semi circle right here the semi circle so i'm sure that 
there is a tomb underneath here. This is marked 102.